Good morning, good afternoon, good evening guys and welcome to another video of Diving Trading. My name is Daniel and today guys we're doing another update. Yes, another update on Nokia. Those of you who follow my channel know that Nokia is my conviction stock, one of my favourite stocks. A lot of people ask me why and uh, if you want to know why you can have a look at my playlist. Uh, I've done quite a few videos on Nokia in the past including an in-depth analysis on the on Nokia uh, but the whole idea of these videos guys is uh, to do an update uh, moving forward look look at prices look at news that we've been receiving recently to see if it tickles your fancy to to invest in in Nokia uh, Nokia uh, I've mentioned many times and I'll say it again Nokia for me is a long time play and uh, people are sort of they want to make a quick return in a short amount of time Nokia is probably not the stock for you um, this is a long term. When I say long term, I'm, t well, I'm talking at least three, four, five years. Okay, this is the minimum. Will when will we see returns? Well, we'll have a look at that. I'll talk to you a little bit about that in the video later on. So, guys, yeah. So this is the videos. If you want to look at these videos that I have on my channel? Please feel free. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. That really helps my channel grow. And for those of you who already subscribed, just hit that like button because that helps the YouTube algorithm. Thank you very much. And let's get into it. So first bit of news. Let's have a look at the. There's a Motley Motley Fool document. Uh, so it was quite a nice mention. Uh, nothing major, but just a nice mention that one of the uh, uh, authors had said three top stocks under five dollars, and one of them were actually uh, was Nokia. So nice. So Nokia it goes into saying Nokia is not uh, isn't a mere phone company, and yeah, so we can go in and see what he reads. Uh, the Nokia you know, the one that makes so-called features phones and low-cost smartphones. Then there's the Nokia you don't know, the one that makes networking and equipment needed by telecom companies, along with the software and intellectual property uh, needed to make those networks function. It's building several different 5G networks in overseas markets, for instance, at the time, actively monetizes in its in an intellectual property. So, yeah, so there's a little bit of a bullish, nice bit of comment there, and that's good because that was pulled out yesterday. So, hopefully, there'll be a lot of readers waking up on Monday morning to look at Nokia. Uh, so, yeah, that's Nokia. Let's go in and see. There's a little bit more news before we actually go in to have a look at the news. Let's see what's happening at the moment. Uh, the first one uh, we have is on the 18th of March. This will be a quite an interesting day. Nokia is to hold the Capital Markets Day for investors, and analysts and media on the 18th of March. So that's in four days, guys. So we're on the 14th today and 18th is on Thursday. So Thursday, guys, is an important day to be looking out for. Okay, this will be interesting. So they plan to do a webcast uh, on that day. Uh, it will be approximately four and a half hours. Well, uh, and it will be available if you can't see that. If you're working like I am or whatever, then you can see that later on on the uh, on the web page. So I would definitely be watching that after work because uh, uh, I really want to hear a lot of interesting things that what might be said during that webcast so yeah so that's a, a date to look out for uh let's have a look at news let's go straight into have a look at the news and the first bit of news is this one so nokia to modernize the k-line networking for shipping services so this is a shipping company and nokia basically are going to provide a, their 4g uh field area network for its lng powered car carrier century highway green okay so that's a uh, Good, so that's, and moving forward, that's good to see. We're managing to see uh, these relationships with these companies that we're having that is uh, increasing our revenue, which is good. This one is probably one of the best bits of news that we've seen, and this is one actually exciting. I have mentioned on my other videos how Nokia, moving forward, it's always the strategies changed since the the new CEOs come in and a lot of it's done through a lot of partnering and uh, and, a, and it's working very well from what we're seeing so here we have Nokia and Samsung sign patent license and agreement for video standards okay so listen up for this one so Nokia announced today that it has signed a patent license agreement with Samsung which covers the use of Nokia's innovation in video standards under the agreement Samsung will make royalty payments to Nokia. The term of the agreement remains confidential between the parties. 
So Jenny Lu Kang, the president of the Nokia Technology, said we are delighted to have reached an agreement with Samsung which further validates Nokia's decade-long investments to research and development and contributions to multimedia and video technology standards. Guys, this is great, guys. This is great news and this is what I'm talking about. This is the news that we want to see moving forward. So really excited. That's excellent. So let's have a go and have a look at the next part. So here we have a uh, CSP MVB management and orchestration solutions market to witness huge growth by 2026. And they said they mentioned Cisco, Ericsson, Hawaii and Nokia. OK, so this is really good news as well. So if we have a look at price and um, look at the technicals, uh, it still remains uh, a buy. Um, it doesn't it's not real, as a strong buy but as a buy which is good um and before we go into having a look at the uh, my chart to have a look at the prices and i just want to pay a, for you guys to have a look at this which is quite promising so we've got two diamonds here uh, which suggests that this is going to be a, a real upward explosion towards the 37 dollars 65 uh, in the in the future so yeah so that would be touching levels back with that we had in 2007 which is uh 40 run about 40 dollars okay so yes Nokia used to be at one point it was 40 dollars and back in april uh, 2000 it was actually at 61 dollars okay so just to give you an idea of the past so yeah <laughs> this is quite interesting i don't understand a lot about this graph but uh, on this chart but uh, it, it looks promising and it's uh, it's optimistic. That's a good thing I uh, want to have a look at. It's op optimism. So let's have a look. Uh, my chart here, uh, I'm going to show you what I've plotted. So, uh, so yeah, so the levels we're at now are at $4.21, uh, which suggests that we're really approaching near our resistance level. So that resistance level is around about $4.30. Uh, Will it come back down? I don't ever see it coming back down, to be honest. You I mean the support level here at the bottom is the very bottom, which is around about $3.75, which you can see what's touched in the past. So in terms of risk reward, if you're looking to buy this stock, if you have a look at the risk reward, you know that this company this is never going to go below uh, this level here. Uh, you just it's, it's not going to happen. If it does go, it will hit this level, but you won't see. So if you're buying in right now, uh, you're looking at what 24 45 cents 45 cents loss okay compared uh, to your reward which could be 10x easily in the next f five six seven years so anyway but um having a look at this if we break this level here uh, this is the level as you can see it's been tested in the past we could go up to the next level which would probably be four dollars and 55 cents which we've touched again in June 2000, we touched again in July 2020, and of course here is when all the uh, Reddit uh, shenanigans came about here, so this is not really a reliable uh, source, and we don't have any points here. So yeah, so we're looking at this level, around about $4.50, which would be nice to see in the very near future. So if we see $4.50, then we can have then to look at the next level which will be over the five dollar mark so ideally within the next uh, few months it would be nice to see this uh, at the four or five over the five dollar mark uh, which would be nice for for us investors if it doesn't and it drops that back down then again it's another time to dollar cost average uh, i think my average at the moment is around about four dollars and two cents i think it is four dollars and two cents uh i would like to bring it down if i had the opportunity uh so but anyway I, i've i think it's a good average for what i've got so i'm slightly up slightly up on what uh on my, on my returns on this stock so good so guys that's a little bit about nokia guys i hope you've enjoyed the video uh please make sure you give it a like and a, a thumbs up and a subscribe to the channel uh, if you want to see more videos like this leave your comments down below what do you think of nokia Are you a nokia uh, shareholder uh, let me know what you think in the comments down below guys thank you very much for watching have a great evening and i'll speak to you soon bye bye now